What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash Show, welcome back to the channel, and for today's Yu-Gi-Oh! news video, there's actually quite a few cards to talk about, but there's also a new OCG set coming out as well that I'm going to be talking about in today's video. All the new cards are going to be coming out of the brand new Animation Chronicle set, including a card used by Gansley in the original Duel Monsters anime from Season 3, which I am super excited about. Which I am super excited about. It's basically a basically a poor man's Yadagarasu, as well as a new Dawn Thousand card and a few other cards as well. Let's just get straight into it. So first up, we have so for, so the first card, the first new card from the Animation Carnival set, we have we have uh, Yowie Yowie, which is a three star Earth Reptile with 500 attack, attack and defense. And it says you can only use this card's name's effect once per duel. You can only special summon monsters once the turn. Once the turn you activate this effect. Excuse me. If this card is summoned and no other cards are summoned at the same time, you can skip your opponent's next draw phase. So it's basically a time seal slash like Yadagarasu, so to speak. Because because with if if you guys don't know Yadagarasu, let me actually look it up. With Yadagarasu. It had its, uh, it was one of the most broken cards of the meta back when, what was it, Legacy of Darkness came out, if I remember right? So, it was a pretty broken card. Stupid broken, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna look it up right now, hang on. My laptop is just being too slow, that's the damn problem. Hang on, guys. My laptop is just, it's just being slow. That's all. Anyway, um. Anyway, so if you guys don't know, Gansley actually used this card against against the Pharaoh in the in his ma in their match. <sighs> Excuse me. In uh. In uh, in the uh, the virtual world arc of season three, which was kind of uh, which was actually a pretty cool card. It was a pretty cool. Seriously, when I first saw the card, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was pretty cool. But looking at it now, looking at, at the effect, what it does, and eh, no, nah. it no nah, nothing. Um, so it says this card cannot be special summon. This card returns to its owner's hand during the end phase of the turn. It is normal summon. Or flip face up. When this card inflicts bounce damage to your opponent, they skip their next draw phase. So being so this was once what was known as the Yada Lock. So what happens is is when you is when you when you go for the Yada Lock, what you do is you basically for you force you force your opponent to use up the resources in their hand, and it gets and it gets and it gets to the point where you can, um, and it gets to the point where they're gonna have no cards in 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 their hand. So when you summon this card during each of your turns, you just deal two hundred points. You just deal deal two hundred points of damage to your opponent, and then you're able to skip their next draw phase right off the bat. What's crazy about this is that. This was one of the first cards that got banned and never got taken off the list. This card right here, Yaoi, is basically that, but, 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 the, but the skipping your opponent's next draw phase part, with Yaoi, it has to be summoned. On summon, and on summon, you are allowed to skip their next skip their next draw phase. Is it really that good? Honestly, no. I really, I really, I just don't don't think it's good. I think Yadagarasu was better because because with Yadagarasu you could just combo off. Like if Yadagarasu was legal in today's meta, you can easily combo combo off with Yada, you know, you know, while keeping Yadagarasu on board, being and be be able to deal. Damage to your opponent 
bump Yadagrasu back to the hand, and your opponent wouldn't, wouldn't be able to uh, draw cards at all. So this card, I really don't see any, any anything too good about this card. I think it's just you know just a collector card, honestly, in my in my opinion. So yeah, it's just that it no no not good. Trust me, no. <laughs> Um, next, so the next card up is actually Dog Thousand's card, which is called Numeron Storm. I believe he used this card in the anime. I actually want to take a look. Take a look, see if he... I want to see... If he did use um, Numeron Storm, I think he did. Hang on, guys. I wanna. I wanna see if he did. I th I, I think he did in, in in the anime. I know I, I know it's the animation chronicle, but I wanna see. Let's take a look. Um, Cause I know that one, that one that one we got. Um, Got uh, Numeron Chaos Chaos Ritual, and um, and also the Numeronius cards. I know we got those. Um, but I want to see. Give me one second, guys. Hang on. Let's take a look. Okay, my laptop is being officially stupid. Um, I don't know. I think I think he did use it use it in in the anime. I don't. Yeah, I think I think he did. But wait, did he? I think he did. I'm gonna have to watch that anime, watch that match again, and see if he did. But um, and don't mind, don't mind the background noise. Um, it's Tuesday, and our and the trash people come in, come every Tuesday. Um, anyway, so 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 the new so the card is called Synchro Storm, which is a which is a normal spell, and it says if you control a, numer a numeronius monster, destroy as many spells. Tracks your opponent controls as possible. If you inflict a thousand damage to your opponent, so it's basically a it's be, it's it's basically um, Harpy's Feather Duster, and you're dealing your opponent damage. So it's I don't I don't I don't have to say anything about about that card except that it's that 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 that's what it does. It's a Harpy's Feather Duster, and being able to deal a, a thousand damage to your opponent. It's just ab absolutely absurd. Obviously, you do have to have a Numeronius monster on, on the field, but other than that, it's actually pretty. It's actually pretty decent. Pretty decent. I don't know if the Numeron deck is is gonna be as viable as it as, as it was back when Ut Utopic Zexel was legal, but with Utopic Zexel now banned, I don't think so. Anyway, so now if you guys remember, um, if you guys remember. The anim if you guys remember the manga, I believe it's the manga, yeah, from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, there was a girl named Cologne, named Princess Cologne, I, I believe I believe was her name, and we finally got her, we finally got her field spell, which is called Dollhouse, and it says you can only use this card's name's first effect once per turn. You can target a normal monster with zero attack or defense in your grave. Special summon a monster with the same name from your deck as a level six dark monster. If you control Princess Cologne, you Cologne, you can target two monsters instead. So if you if you guys remember that from the manga, we're finally getting her cards. We're part, we're get finally getting those cards printed. And then the second effect says when an evolved monster declares an attack, you can detach you can attach one Grandpa Demetto. You control to your Princess Cologne as as material, then end the battle phase. So so being able to run three copies of this card of of Grandpa Demetto is absolutely really good. Being able to um, 
being able to um, to attach Dometo to to Princess Cologne and then just negate the battle it just and and the battle right there is just absolutely absurd. And, and what's cool is that with the first effect, with the first effect. Because that, because that, you're gonna be making Princess Cologne turn one. At turn one, this card will ensure that you're able to target. They able to have two level six dark mon, two level six six dark monsters on on the field. So you'll be able to go go into something like. I don't you know so, something like maybe a Naruto, um, or even also. A uh, number twenty four Dracula's the Vampire Dragon, maybe even for uh, uh, first lane justice, maybe it's pretty, it's it's pretty insane, it's pretty good. And then of course the reprint, we are getting a a reprint for for the archetype, which is obviously Box of Friends. Um, I think I I don't remember what that card does. Let's take a look. Um, uh, Box of Friends, here we are. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What was the release? Oh, oh, Number Hunters. Oh, I haven't opened. I haven't opened. Open, open, I haven't opened up this in a long time. It's, it's been a while. All right. So let's see what the card does. Um. Uh, if if this card is destroyed and sent, sent to the grave, you can special summon from your deck two normal monsters with different names whose attack or defense is zero in face of defense. You can only use this effect once per turn. Monster special summoning by this effect cannot be used as single material. As as single material, and they are also destroyed during the next end phase. Okay, so basically with this, you're able to just instead of using it as single material, you would have to use it as exceeds material off the bat. So that's pretty crazy. That's a pretty crazy effect. That's a pretty crazy effect. Honestly, I don't know if the deck will like skyrocket, but we will find out. Once the set gets released, but guys, we do have another OCG set coming out. The World Premiere Pack 2021. Um, uh, let's see here. The TCG Premiere Import Pack for this year. The World Premiere Pack 2021 featuring released earlier overseas. Featuring cards released or earlier overseas, obviously here in the TCG, will be released on the 25th of September in 2021. This pack will focus on the cards introduced in the foreign versions of the sets from Phantom Rage, Lightning Overdrive, and to, from Phantom Rage to Lightning Overdrive. You can also obtain the new cards introduced in sets like Kane's Court. Each pack will contain five cards and will sell for 165 yen, for 165 yen including tax. So, so from Phantom Rage, so let's see, from Phantom Rage to... To Lightning Overdrive, so we're talking cards like Ghosts of the Past. We're talking again, as, as I mentioned, King's Core. We're talking as well, um, uh, Phantom Rage as well. Uh, maybe Legendary Duel. I think Legendary Duel is Rage of Ra. No, 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 no. That was released last year. That was that was released last last summer. Um, uh, Maximum Gold would be would be another good one. So. I'm curious. I'm curious about this. I'm not so sure what the full set list will be, but if they do, but if there is a, but if the set list does get revealed, I will be talking about it in in here on here on the channel. Um, but I'm excited for this one. I'm pretty excited for this one. But guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Question of the day: What what older anime cards do you want to see get printed in Animation Chronicle, which will obviously be our version of which will be the OCG's version of our Battles of Legend which will be released I believe I, I, believe, I believe they said in October or something like that um, but that is the question of the day let me know in the comments below and that is going going to do it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more Yu-Gi-Oh! news videos which gets posted every Tuesday make sure you guys subscribe to the channel hit that notification and hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any new content that comes your way. And be sure to follow and be sure to check me out on Twitter and Instagram. All the links will be down in the description below. And if you guys have any fan mail that you want to send me and want me to open up on the channel, 
My address will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.